Hey everyone, welcome back to Dear Cyber Sue Lifestyle Talk Show. I'm your host, I'm Susan McCord. And I'm Andrea Wesley. Today we're going to talk about ghosting. Now, I know a lot of people my age group probably don't know what that means, but you've probably had it happen to you many times, especially if you've been online dating. So I'm talking to anybody over 40, if you don't understand what it means, Andrea's going to explain it to you. So ghosting is basically when somebody you're dating or talking to and have the intention of dating suddenly disappears off the face of communication. They stop texting, they stop calling, um, if they ever called you at all. And then you think things are going well and suddenly they just disappear and stop contacting okay. you. I have a question. Yes. Okay. My question <laughs> is, is it's something that we should all, regardless of age when you're dating, think about when we're texting or talking to somebody before we've met them, that we should have a limit of how long we do that for. Because it's very easy for someone to yeah. hide behind a computer and pretend to be somebody else. So wouldn't it be better, rather than to spend all that time with somebody, that you actually meet up with them first to see if there is a connection? Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I have a limit of a week for, for me personally. Like if a guy hasn't asked me out within a week, I'll ask him out and see. Cause Good girl, days. because that's the way it's, this is what's supposed to be like. Well, yeah, now. I mean, it's if not you're just not, about yeah. the guys anymore, yeah, you, the girls you should gotta, take you gotta, you gotta drop yeah. that gauntlet and you gotta say, hey, like, do you wanna go for a drink with me? After a week of texting each other, there you should be making a plan. Yeah. Um, and you know, that's actually just recently happened to me and the guy ghosted. <laughs> but it's an ego thing to see how many people you can actually meet online that you can have conversations with and then when it comes, push comes to shove, you actually don't meet up with them because you don't really have any interest in meeting up with them? I think that ghosting is something that people that don't know how to communicate do. Instead of dealing with the emotions or the reaction of someone when you mm. say to them concretely like, you know, like it's, I, I I've enjoyed talking to you, but it's just I'm just not feeling it. Um, yeah, they're not I've being been, honest. They're not being honest. They, yeah. Being an actual human being that's good at communicating, being an actual grown-up, you need to know how to have those uncomfortable conversations. Because if you if you start that <laughs> pattern in your dating life, you're mm -hmm. not going to be good at resolving situations in your relationship either. No. Because if you can't have the awkward conversations about what's bothering you or what you don't like, you're not going to be able to have those in a long-term relationship either. I talk to young people that are telling me all the time that they, oh, well, you know, we we actually text for like two months and. And then we were going to meet up and then they didn't show up or they'd said, no, I don't want to meet you after all. Why waste your time? Exactly. These are just people that are, are playing that game of to see who they can get online. Ego boosting is a huge problem online dating. Um, I don't get it. It's, you know, I've actually been um, on, well, you know, it's funny because I was just recently on an app called Bumble, which discourages ghosting because you only have 24 hours to respond to somebody. And it's a woman initiated site. So it's like, Haha, when you, she gets it. <laughs> when you match, you have to, the female has to interact. It has to be the first one to drop the first opening message. And 90% of the guys that I matched with didn't message me back. And it was like within an hour of them swiping right on my face. But so put yourself in that position of waiting no. for somebody to actually ask you out or to actually meet up with you. And that goes for girls and guys because both are doing it. So if you want to have a better dating life, don't put up with crap. Exactly. Have some standards. And 48 hours you haven't heard from them after a date or after making a plan for a date, forget about them. Yeah. Next. Anyway, thanks for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Stick around because we have another video coming up about bad texting. <laughs> kind of goes along with the ghosting thing. Yep. <laughs> anyway, we've got lots to talk about, so please hang in there. Don't forget to contact me at dearcybersue at gmail.com. And Andrea here is a regular writer for thebold.com, and you can see all her articles on there. I'll put the link underneath the, uh, web, uh, underneath the video today. Anyway, thanks, everyone. We'll talk to you very soon. Bye. Bye.